More in the news tonight, high profile crime rates in the city are at an unusual low and just in time too as Sherlock Holmes, a detective made famous for his numerous cases in the past 30 years, has fallen ill and been out of the public eye for the past few months. Only one knows how his co-worker, Dr. John Watson, is holding their agency together. In other news tonight, there is a... Yes, sweetie. I'll be home as soon as I drop this off at his house. Yes, of course I'll tell him that, yes. No, no. It was actually a pretty slow day. Nothing too crazy showed up. <laughs> yes. Yes. Alright, alright. I'm near in his house. I'll call you later, alright? Alright. I love you. Alright, bye. Sherlock! Sherlock! Give me a spare for a reason. Sherlock! Sickness, old man. Dearest Watson, I trust this letter finds you in good spirits. 
For I have a confession to make that may even rattle your steadfast composure. While I have cherished our time together, I'm afraid it has been leading to this end. I must reveal that I have been the architect behind the very crimes we've been unraveling together these past few years. You see, I have become disillusioned with the simplicity and banality of the criminals we have encountered. I am wearied of the mundane and predictable antics. Their feeble attempts at deception and their lackluster schemes leave me searching for a challenge befitting my extraordinary intellect. In my arrogance and boredom, I devised a plan to create such a challenge for myself. Who better to match up against me other than me? I meticulously studied the methods and motives of these criminals, and then I replicated their crimes in a manner so intricate and complex that those fools would pale in comparison. It was not enough for me to merely solve their crimes. I needed to perfect them. I framed them with the crimes only they would choose, executing how only I could, leaving behind clues that only I would be able to decipher. I realize that you cannot sympathize with this, most likely seeing my actions as not only endangering the innocent, but have also compromised the very principles of justice and integrity that we have sworn to uphold. Instead, I have stolen, lied, and murdered in the name of playing a game that only I could win. I do feel sorry for betraying your trust. You've been my closest relationship these past years. I know you most certainly do the morally right thing and turn me in. And I do not want to have to stop you. So, at the time I send this to you, Ola decided to disappear. To venture off into a retirement of sorts. This is not only a confession letter, but a goodbye letter. Yours sincerely, Sherlock. I told you that key was for emergencies. Watson, thought that was you, I saw your car. Want some tea? No, 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 I, I need to be getting home. Uh, it's, it's late. <clears throat> Me and my wife heard you were sick, so she made some pasta. It's, it's in the fridge. I appreciate that. Doctor, are you uh, feeling okay? You're looking quite... Yeah, 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 I'm alright. A little under the weather. <clears throat> Why don't you just head home and rest? Yeah, I think I will. Um, get better soon. We miss you in the office. Uh... Good night, Dr. Watson. Good night, sir. Reports of Dr. John Watson's death have been confirmed. Watson was a longtime associate of Sherlock Holmes and was found dead in his home earlier this morning. Police Commissioner Powell has confirmed that this is a murder case based on the disturbing facts of the scene. As many are eager to bring the killer or killers to justice, we can have some peace. Sherlock Holmes has been seen with the CIS inspecting the scene and we can rest assured that he is on the case.